I am now working on the chicken shack. We all get the pig shack in the in the run, but I've been working on this thing since like April when I first got up here in Missouri. So it's another shack. Um, yeah, I got. We made the mistake of stacking the the, the sheet metal in the weather. And so now we have a black roof. Except for that one piece that was on top. But, um, it's also, it's not nearly as square as I would like for it to be. But it is a chicken shack. So, I'm not really that concerned about it. If you look down the, the rafter tails, it looks pretty square. But if you look across the peak... Yeah, it's another story. It's not terribly out of square, but it is out of square. But um, what I do now is rafter this other side over here. Uh, I put some of this bubble wrap insulation up here. Um, I had another use for it at one time, but I put it up here because what I wanted to do is um, it should reflect a lot of the heat out of the chicken shack. Um, we're going to run a roost on this side and this side and set a table on this end for nesting boxes. And, um, yeah, I've got to build a door. But it's going to be a nice white door, so, yeah, do that. But i got to get the rafters in there. Um, i got three of them here. That's three of them, and I need a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need a total of eight, so I need five more. Um, and I may have them, I don't know. It's not super critical, but yeah, I'm spacing the rafters 16 inches apart. Um, it's not so much that it's necessary, it's just, it just feels right. Um, I built this thing with pallets. Um, that's one thing about building with pallets is the two before is the strength. So you stand the pallets on end and that gives you, if you go three pallets, that's 120 inches. So it's, oh, it's about 10 by 10. But the pallets, uh, two before is actually the studs in the wall now. Uh, I have seen people build uh, structures with pallets and they lay them down the other way. Well, just have to ask yourself which is stronger that little piece of three quarter inch material or that two before so it's you know you build them with pallets you don't have to worry about building codes obviously so build it the way you want to over here was this this interesting piece of artwork was accidental it's the cut off from here and the cut off from there and they happen to fit with just a little patch right there um Got another little spot over there in that corner of the patch. But this piece of plywood. Uh, there was three pieces of plywood I got when I was, last time I was in Houston. I needed a plywood for a trailer. And I ended up getting three pieces of plywood for 15 bucks. Treated plywood for 15 bucks. So, there was one of them. I don't know where the other two went. Uh, they got used for something. I'm just not sure what. So anyway, yet another shack being built on the old Ponderosa. Peace, guys.